Parashat Tzav. It is common for people to enter their office in the morning and find it clean and ready for the new day. Just after they leave in the evening or very early in the morning before they show up for work, there is a cleaning crew, often invisible, that tidy up everything. In a sharp contrast to our current routine, the Torah commands Aaron, the high priest, to begin every morning cleaning the ashes that were left from the previous day's sacrifices. There is no cleaning crew or custodians to perform the unpleasant work. It had to be the high priest himself. Is this really a job for the high priest? Is this the best way for the religious leader of the nation to spend his time? The great Musar Rabbi Bachya Ibn Pekuda would say yes. He explains that being chosen to serve in a high position may go to your head. You may start thinking that you are better than other people around you and become haughty and arrogant. As an antidote for a potential excessive pride, the Torah instructs the high priest to start his day doing menial jobs like taking the trash out and only then to continue with his sacred part of his day. This helps to cultivate the right amount of humility that is needed to become an effective spiritual leader. Shabbat Shalom.